Right then folks, here we are again. Um, long time no see. It's actually the end of February 2017 now. And um, up on the Mendips, it's pretty blowy. So I've got the mic in. Uh, it's starting to rain, so I've just put all the weatherproofs on. And um, yeah, I plan to come out and SWR a couple of antennas on some uh, shorter poles for something that's coming up. But uh, yeah, it's um, been a hectic two months. January and February have come and gone really without me noticing. And um, yeah, there we go. We'll just have to uh, see how it goes in the, uh, in the future and try and get some videos up. And I'm actually heading to those woods over there. I've never been in those woods on the Mendips. I've always just gone straight to the top or had a look around. So um, I'm going to head into the woods and see what's about. A little bit impromptu, but um, took the opportunity to get out. I don't mind the bad weather, but I, I don't like setting up antennas in the bad weather. Setting them up and then testing them in bad weather, I don't mind. But actually actually setting them up in the bad weather and SWR in it, it's a, ha it's a faff that I can't be bothered with. In and out and in and out. And... No, I'm not doing it. So we're just going to have a bit of a wander. And... Um, yeah, let's go and have a look at the forest and have a brew. Catch you in a bit. Right, so we've just taken refuge from the weather in a place called Rowbarrow Warren, which is off to the side of the Mendip Hills. Um, I dare say if it was a lot windier than this, I wouldn't be in here because there's an awful lot of dead wood around and uh, yeah, could come crashing down as a lot of it already has. But um, there we go. So we're just having a brew up. Thanks very much to uh, those of you that have stuck with the channel. Um, I know it's been a bit sparse, as I say, I've flat out again. It's just absolutely nuts. Got back to work on January, haven't stopped. So. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, we're going to try and get some stuff out. As I say, I come out today to do some SWR antenna, antenna SWR in, because um, I want to kick off the, the walkabout thing we started before. <clears throat> but this time I'm going to be using a six meter pole on the side of the Bergen with an antenna on it. And um, I'm going to go walk about like that instead because I f the handy's all right if you're somewhere like Black Mountain, which is a high ridge all the way along. If you go anywhere that's not quite so high, you need a bit of a better antenna. So we're going to give it a punt, see how it goes. Um, I'm also going to try a new method of attaching the antenna to the pole because tape's a little, tape's very good, but it's a little bit faffy. So I'm going to try something that might be a bit quicker. But again, I need, I need the weather really to do some proper filming for you all. Um, <clears throat> but one thing I can show you, basically the question was raised about how to charge devices when you're out and about on the radio. Now, obviously, if you're using a battery, you've got a power source. And most of you, I suspect, are using these 12 volt plug and play connectors. And then obviously, on the other end, you plug the radio in there, which is fine. Now, if you get one like this, which is a doubler, yeah, all you need is a little USB insert. I'll see if I can get this out with one hand. So I can't set the tripod up really. Oh, that's tight in there, man. So that's what it is. That's the USB insert. This one is by Griffin. And it's just a case of putting that in one of your doublers. And you can now charge your phone or whatever while you're on the radio. Obviously, you're going to have to keep an eye on how much output you're using. You don't want to drain your battery for your radio, but a thing like a phone or a camera it's unlikely to, to cause much of an issue. So I'll be giving that a try as well. Um, just a little tip to say this question was raised, is it, you know, can you do it? Well, yeah, of course you can. You, but you have got to be careful about the charging voltage. That thing there should regulate the, whoop, that thing there should regulate the, the charge voltage to your devices. So you should be all right, but just check it before you try it. Right, I'm going to finish my brew. And um, yeah, I don't think the weather's going to ease off. So. Um, today's going to be a bit of a non-starter when it comes to uh, doing 
doing that SWR, which is a bit of a pity because I want to get that done because I'm out again tomorrow. Uh, never mind. <laughs> we will we will be getting those videos back up and running for you all soon very very soon um, in the meantime let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see if there's anything you want me to go over again stuff you've seen in another video perhaps i know i did start doing a, a to-do list before and um yeah one reason or another it just got put put by the wayside so um let me know what you want to see if there's anything you want to see uh, but we will be back very shortly, hopefully, with um, some more videos. I want to get back over to Wales. I want to get up to the Midlands and up above the Midlands. So we are going to be going out and doing some stuff. But I quite like this spot here, actually. I'm quite enjoying it. I mean, up there, over that ridge, and a bit further across there is Beacon Batch, which you all know, um, which is where I was going to go. But as soon as it started raining, I hit a detour. So um, use the time to explore another area. This could so easily be Wales. This could definitely be Wales. But it's not, it's Somerset. We're gonna head off that way, I think, straight up through there. Hi, uh, okay, so we're gonna head straight on up through there, through the track. Uh, there's horses and mountain bikers and stuff everywhere in this uh, area so it's obviously well used um, and there's tracks everywhere leading off just about everywhere through there uh, you can see another junction there that's where they split again so we're going to double back a little bit not completely but a little bit and we're going to head up through the forest here it's funny because that side there almost completely stripped bare and this side here is a bit more covered but there's still a clear gap through here where all the vehicles go through I suspect because there's twin tracks so it's not an entirely in fact it's not a wasted day at all so always good to find new spots I'm just going to grab my hat and cover up my there we go keep the rain off my mic receiver and my camera a little bit it's not the best um, I didn't bring any of the uh, action cams today because none of them are charged I just as I say I haven't had any time to do anything so I've not not kept everything charged up which is a shame but there we go right I'm gonna get a wriggle on up here and then we're gonna stop for another brew and I'll show you those poles that I was going to use today. Catch you in a bit. Right, you'll have to excuse my uh, red overweight face. It's been some time since I've done anything like this. Uh, my winter coat, still got my winter coat on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just stopping for a brew here now, and um, it's a nice old spot. I could quite easily come here and spend quite a few good hours just chilling out by myself. Maybe a wild camp, late arrival, early departure kind of deal. As always, stealthy. But let's um, have a look at those poles. You've got there, one is a six meter, one is a seven meter. They've both got their own collar and guy wires, and I've just wrapped them in some camo tape just because I had some really, no real reason. The bottoms are screw on, 
but I've taped them up so they can't come off on their own. And then um, I've just secured the lids with, well, I call them lid keepers. Basically, it just means that when you take the lid out, you're not going to lose it because it's attached. So that idea is courtesy of Mark009, who first showed us that and I've adopted it on every pole because <laughs> it's a good idea so there we go that's why we've carried on with it I'm just drying out my bits there but what a cracking place we always go to beacon batch and go straight up the top and forget about all this of course when we do radio stuff we don't really even consider these kind of locations because it's almost well completely going to be 10-1. Uh, um, it's a nice place for a camp, but this is where radio and camping don't go hand in hand, because unless you can get an aerial up out of these trees, or you've got a clear line of sight, like I did when I went to meet the boys in Wales, you're going to be pretty much 10-1. So, <sighs> nice spot for a camp though. Okay, so we're back in the motor now. Uh, the rain started up again, so I'm going to postpone SWR in the uh, the antenna today, but I will try and get it done this week, and then hopefully next week I can get back out uh, and I can do I can show you it, you know, attached to the Bergen, doing some walkabout stuff. Um, that's really all for the moment there, folks. Just a short one. Brady's all back in. Um, this video was actually supposed to be done on the first of January. <laughs> um, but it's nearly the 1st of March, but uh, time constraints are what they are. You know, some people can do two, three videos a week. Um, it's just it's just physically impossible. So we will try and get out more and more. I want to get out more for myself, but it's, it's just not easy at the moment. Various things, stress, and it's always stressed out, which is a shame because it's nice to get out. That relieves the stress, but, you know... Ooh. You probably see it, I can't really them in spots and stuff. I'm just stressed all the time, so I need to I need to chill out a bit and get out and about on the hills a bit more. So uh projects up and coming, uh tripped out up and coming again as I said before. Anything you want to see, um let me know down below. Um and we'll see what we can do. We'll catch you on the next one.